here are some reflections about what it would uh, be for, first of all, for civilization to be heaven, um, a heaven that we build, um, and then how, uh, how music could contribute to that uh, heavenly society as its uh, structuring principle or as part of its structuring principle. I'll start with an ad hoc um, memory of something that Stockhausen said, the composer Stockhausen, who's a famous avant-garde composer uh, who was active uh, from the 50s through like the end of the 20th century, a little further than that. Um, he, he wrote a lot of interesting texts, and in one of them, uh, he imagines a world where, um, where like sonic existence has as much structure in say a city as the, uh, the architecture of the city or like the, uh, you know, the, the sort of zoning, um, and so you could imagine like walking down the street and you know, having these doors and windows and buildings and have them designed in a certain way that's useful, but that then instead of hearing just like random sounds that the, uh, like traffic in the street or people talking or, you know, whatever, the sound of weather, that sound would be structured like that too. So that's one thought. Another thought, uh, pretty disconnected, uh, at first glance anyway, is that a, uh, a fully mature human being is characterized by, in part, by the ability to, um, you know, have, have more of a say in what kind of experiences they have. You know, some, someone who's really awake and wise um, will, will sort of be the author of their experiences to a greater degree um, because their own drives and feelings, they have um, sort of, you know, made, like they've perhaps you know, worked through afflictions and traumas and their drives and feelings they have um, like not mastered or yoked exactly. Those are kind of harsh terms, but like they've sort of made like peaceful treaties. Um, there's a kind of domestic, a, a self-domestication. Um, and then that type of nature will then typically kind of spread and create um, a life or be attracted to uh, already existing potentials out there that are, are harmonious and uh, I almost want to say predictable but that sounds sort of mundane but that uh, that don't come with sudden unfortunate surprises to the degree that life could otherwise um, so that's, you know, that's a point about psychology or, uh, or spirituality. So then on the collective plane, um, you know, that, that's what, uh, that's what I th think is hard to deny that any society is looking to achieve in its economic being and its legal being you know, is like, um, you know, no people, like societies, the hope is for them to function smoothly um, with some kind of vector of expansion and with perhaps discord and tension um, 
in certain areas and a revision of norms and laws and things like that, but in the context of an overall um, harmony. And um, it may sound banal to go from there to then saying, well, so there you go, you know, harmony. Um, you know, it's good for harmony to govern society and harmony is a musical term. So there you go, it's music. Um, but I think there's actually a lot to that. And, um, you know, the, uh, ha having a norm involving speculative avenues for structuring society as a whole or smaller social groups, whatever it is, actually helps make sense of what music is. You know, it's very mysterious why anybody cares about music, why people enjoy music, why people enjoy good music, uh, better than bad music. And um, I think that it could be argued that um, what music is, is a promise of um, a, a, a perfected society, a, a, a type of um, like anarchism, a sort of like Christian anarchism that is peaceful and self-legislating and um, you know, so so free that it imposes constraints upon itself, uh, just so that it can enjoy itself all the more, and use those constraints to um, attain more variety. And um, you know, the experience of composing music really makes makes it palpable like what that is, um, and it seems like it could make a lot of sense to apply that to the social field. This is a very ancient idea. Um, you can find it in Plato, but it's not really taken seriously so much in modern times, and so it's really worth it to apply that ancient idea to, you know, contemporary music and contemporary society.